Hi everyone, it's Rax. Got the Cookie Monster hoodie on and it's Friday and there is an update uh, coming to Diablo 4 on the 20th. I want to cover it for you because it's going to buff the Infernal Horde. So first of all, the gold chest is now reusable if you want to not spend all of your Aether on gold. It's nice. And they're going to buff some of the offerings. If you saw my guide on how to get a million cinders, now they're going to buff the Elite, which is good. The funny thing about that is the Elite was probably the second best way to play the Infernal Hordes. The best way to play is the Hellborn, and the second best way was the Elites, and then like the worst ways are like the Spires and stuff like that. So I'm kind of surprised that they only buff the Elites, but not the Spires, but maybe more tweaks are coming. And then the Burning Rain, I'm pretty sure this is the Hellfire one. The Hellfire one was already one of the best things to choose because if you pick the Hellfire one, it doesn't give you very much Aether, but it can turn into Hellfire Spawn Hellborn. So now if you get this on wave one and you're doing T7, there's nine waves of nine. That's going to instantly give you 81 Aether on one click and it could spawn the Hellborn. So they're all honestly kind of buffing what are already some of the best choices. So this must mean that they're going to have other buffs to some of the worst options. But now it's like really doubled down on the elites and the Hellborn and the Hellfire that are going to spawn the Hellborn. Um, so trade is separated by world tier. That's cool. Let us know when there's a new patch. Okay. I, I thought this was already in the game. I, I don't, maybe this is plans. I party leaders can now promote another party member to new leader. Wasn't this already possible? Clan name can now be changed. Uh, why would you ever change the name from taco land? I already have the best clan name. I don't need that. Here's another important thing. Um, there were some mistakes that they made on the launch where they had guaranteed you certain items and certain greater affixes, and you just didn't get them. So now all players are going to receive a cache of legendary items with guaranteed greater affixes to make up for the issues in patch 1.5, where players were not getting those items from multiple sources. Good on you, Blizzard. Thank you. We'll, we'll take those and hopefully get something good there. They fixed one of the rogue temperings that they disabled. That's nice, more visual effects. Um, I read through all of these. There are a couple of them that I thought would be significant. I've heard a lot of people come to my stream and say, Rax, I'm using this one power for this one build, and it doesn't work. It says it gives me these stats, and it doesn't. The reason why that that doesn't work is because it doesn't show you the correct stats in town. This has been reported many, many seasons. And we were saying, why don't we get the full buffs while we're in town? It probably has to do with the fact that you can't use like certain attacks in town. So now they said that they fixed it. So that will hopefully clean up a lot of confusion, a lot of other uh, fixes here. And uh, here's another thing. They fixed an issue where Hellborn did not spawn as frequently as intended. Okay, so Hellborn uh, just got better. The rich get richer. And then here was another uh, big concern. When you do Tormented Beast in Ice, didn't drop the right number of pincushion dolls, and now it will. And that, amongst other changes, I this one's actually important to me because I play Firewall all the time. The ranks of Firewall did not have the, the pretty blue effect. We definitely want that back. So anyway, I think those are the, the major hitters. This is hitting on October, or October. God, I'm already thinking about the expansion. August 20th. Um, the Infernal Hordes will be very strong. It's still going to be Elites and Hellborn, it looks like. Very surprised not to see buffs to stuff like the Spires, which everybody avoids, like the Plague, the little red circle that you sit in and you kill the enemies. But uh, I'll take the guaranteed uh, legendary legendaries that they're going to hand us with the greater affixes, and eh, the game continues to get better, so I'll take it. Thank you.